to consider these words from the collect thy son jesus christ our savior jesus christ to take upon him our flesh and to suffer death upon the cross that all mankind should follow the example of his great humility mercifully grant that we may both follow the example of his patience and also be made partakers of his resurrection in the collect we acknowledge that god sent his son to be our savior think about that the creator and lord and master of our universe sent his only son to live amongst us and not just provide us instruction and leadership but to give his earthly life as a one-time sacrifice for our sin that we might be accounted as perfect in our final accounting the resurrection how much did god value his son Consider what Paul tells us. Wherefore, God also have highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of things in heaven, and things in earth, and in things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Reading this, let us consider how much God valued his Son, and how much he values us that he sent his son here to teach us to guide us to love us and finally to give his life for us that we might be free from the sins of bonds bond free from the bonds of sin and death jesus humbled himself to a commoner's son and not just that of any commoner but that of a thief this tells us how much God and Jesus loves us that God would send his only begotten son to die a horrendous death and that Jesus would undergo this painful death and the descent into hell to save our souls from eternal bondage if he did that for us it is only fair that we should do our best to follow his example and perform good actions for him we should always consider how much God loves us, that he would send his only begotten son to die a commoner's death, that we might be free from the bondage of death. He truly does love his creation, and we must never forget that fact. And we also must remember that Jesus loves us that much, that he willingly subjected himself to a terrible death and descent into hell for the battle for our souls, for our eternal future, Whenever things get difficult for us, let us remember what Jesus went through and that there is no way whatever we're going through is half as difficult as what Jesus went through on our behalf. This thought leads directly to the collect. The collect <coughs> calls us to follow the example Jesus set in his actions of his death and resurrection and also calls us to embody his great humility and his great patience that we might follow the upward narrow path towards heaven and be partakers of his resurrection. The colic calls us to action and to follow the, in the example of Jesus' great humility, humbling himself, the being who created this planet to die for us on the cross, laying down his life for ours, is an example we must strive to emulate in our own lives to the best of our abilities. We will, of course, never be able to emulate his example perfectly, but we'll never get close if we do not do our best. So let us let the Holy Ghost into our hearts and help us guide us to follow Jesus' example as much as we can do. If we follow his example and do our best to emulate his humility and patience, we too can be a part of his resurrection. We will be a, a part of our own resurrection of sorts. To accomplish this, we have to have our selfish selves die and be replaced with the unselfish self, which we can achieve through the guidance of the Holy Ghost. In other words, we need to stop our sinful behavior and replace that with more godly behavior. And this is easy. This is easier said than done, 
but it can be accomplished with the help of the Holy Ghost. Without his help, it will be impossible to accomplish. So let us ask him into our hearts that we might renew our spirit and become new men. Jesus set the ultimate standard of following God's will. His entire ministry can be described as actions. He physically lived his message. His message can be seen through his actions. We need to do as he did and show our act by our actions that we serve him. He did not just say nice words and do nothing. He backed up those words with action. We are called to do likewise. Action, not just diction, is what counts in the end, and we must always remember that and strive to follow in his example. Jesus knew ahead of time how, where, and when he would die. He even told his followers this, but they did not comprehend as they did not have the Holy Ghost within them to help understand what he said. He knew if a hundred percent certainty it was going to be a physically and spiritually painful death. Yet he also knew that this was God's will that we might live. If he did this for you, how can you not follow him wherever his will takes you? And remember his example of acting even if it means the death of your temporal body. His example that he has left us to follow is that one of action. And like him, we may have to die for our faith, but rest assured that death will have a reward of eternal life. Recall Jesus' triumphant entry into Jerusalem on this day so many years ago. Only Jesus knew of his upcoming crucifixion. Everyone else, including Jews, Romans, and his followers, thought he was making a triumphant entrance into the city to take control of things and kicked the Roman occupation force out. It was almost a full moon. It was the year of the Messiah, according to the prophet Daniel. According to Daniel, when natural events were lining up as scripture had predicted, which preceded the arrival of the Messiah, Jesus chose the route into the city through the king's gates. The people saw him coming and met him at the Mount of Olives. When he came in through the king's gate, the people were expecting to see their future earthly king. They did not have the Holy Ghost within them to see his true nature. However, they are incorrect who they were seeing was and is their heavenly king. Jesus had no intentions of establishing a kingdom in this world. He was looking for followers for the kingdom of the next world, of heaven. This world is only temporary, but the next world is of eternity. Whatever trinkets we might acquire on earth will never measure up to the gift that Jesus bought for us by his death and resurrection upon the cross. We must keep that fact in mind whenever we are tempted by earthly trinkets. It is a gift of great joy. The fact is that we should be by all rights dead and headed for the pit. Instead, headed to a kingdom of joyfulness and laughter and all pleasant things in a world that will be far better than our pitiful shadow land here. This is indeed the most valuable of all gifts we'll ever receive in our lifetime. As an aside, the chief priests who had so much invested in their 613 laws likely searched far and wide for the crowd to convict Jesus of the crimes they imagined against their system. We need to remember that not all the Jews wanted Jesus executed, just those in power and those that followed them. It is an easy mistake to make that many other Christians have made. They have not seen that it was not all Jews, and not only that, they are representative of all, all of humanity, not just the Jewish people. The system they followed was of this world, not of God's. Remember, there are none so blind as those who will not see. They were in the darkness. Thus, they could and would not see what was being shown to them because it would interfere with their comfortable way of living. A new way that asked of them 
no demand of them accountability unto God for their actions. Know that the crowd was not a self-forming group naturally set on condemning Jesus, but a hand-picked gang. At the same time, many of those in the crowd who condemned him the morning of Good Friday were in the crowd that welcomed him to Jerusalem on Palm Sunday. What a difference five days can make. Make no mistake, we are that crowd, and like Pilate, no matter what we say, we cannot wash our hands of the responsibility. Thus we must separate ourselves from the crowd, separate, that is to make ourselves holy, set aside. When the time comes, how you act, it is by our actions we are known. Be of God, live of God, act of God.